Okay, so the Vanguard Life Strategy Fund could be the only fund you ever need. It's simple to understand and cheap to invest in. What makes this fund so popular is that it's an all-in-one fund that allows you to invest in a collection of index funds and bonds from around the world, giving an almost unmatched amount of diversification. It's bought as a single investment and distributes your money based on the allocation of this one fund. In today's video, I'll very briefly dive into the Life Strategy Fund to give you a better idea of what it contains so that you can make an informed decision to see if this is right for you. The Life Strategy Fund combines multiple individual index funds into one fund portfolio, giving you access to thousands of shares and bonds in a single investment. Now, if we take a step back, an index fund is a portfolio of stocks which tracks the market performance of that fund. For example, in the US, there's the S&P 500, which tracks the top 500 companies in America, or the FTSE 100, which tracks the top 100 companies in the UK. These are good funds to invest in, but the Life Strategy Fund takes this one step further. It includes the S&P 500, the FTSE 100, the Japan Stock Index, the Emerging Markets Stock Index and many many more. It also offers the option of having a set allocation and percentage to invest in bonds. Bonds are issued by governments and corporations when they want to raise money. By buying a bond you're giving the issuer a loan and they agree to pay you back the face value of the loan on a specific date and to pay you periodic interest payments along the way and that's usually twice a year. Unlike stocks, bonds issued by companies give you no ownership rights so you don't necessarily benefit from the company's growth but at the same time you won't see as much impact when the company isn't doing as well either so long as it still has the resources to stay current on its loan. Bonds then give you two potential benefits when you hold on to them as part of your portfolio. They give you a stream of income and they offset some of the volatility you might see from owning stocks. What makes the Life Strategy Fund so unique and attractive is that it increases diversification. It helps reduce the risk by spreading your investment as it means you're not putting all of your eggs into one basket because a company could perform well one year but then do badly the next. But investing in the fund as a whole can protect you from this. Each life strategy fund has a different mix of shares and bonds. Shares typically give you a higher return over the long run, but they are riskier. Bonds are more stable, but they offer lower returns. Having a mix of both helps balance the risk and the reward. Now there is a family of five life strategy funds that you can select from, and you can pick the distribution that suits you the most. So you can have an allocation of 100% shares and no bonds, 80% shares and 20 bonds, 60% shares and 40 bonds, and so on. When it comes to choosing a fund, there are two things you need to think about. First one is, what's your risk appetite? Shares usually offer higher returns than bonds, but they are riskier. If you're a more cautious investor, you might want to choose a life strategy fund with fewer shares than more bonds. An adventurous investor on the other hand might want to choose a life strategy fund with a higher percentage of shares so that they can maximize the gains and the profits. The second thing you need to think about is how long are you planning to invest for? The longer you invest, the more time you have to ride out any ups and downs of the stock market. So if you have time on your side, you could think about choosing a life strategy fund with more shares and less bonds. More shares mean more risk and out of these five that would be the life strategy 100% equity fund. The least risky is a 20% equity fund which is 20% shares and 80% bonds because it has more bonds making the fund more stable and safe. Now for me I invest in the 100% life strategy equity fund and the thought process behind this is that I would like to invest over a long period of time to ride out any short-term fluctuations in the market and to let compounding do its thing. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm only investing money that I don't need in the immediate future. However as I progress through life and my career and eventually reach retirement, I'd want to rebalance the fund and go for something which has less risk as it's something I want to use in my retirement. So it's all down to your personal circumstances so there is no right or wrong fund to pick from. If you go on the Vanguard's website you can read about each one in more detail and decide the best option for you. So now that we have a better idea of what the fund is and the options available, let's take a look at one of the funds and check what's actually inside. On the Vanguard website I'll have a breakdown of each life strategy fund and the one on screen is the 100% equity fund. And as you can see, it has index funds from around the world. The FTSE UK All Shares Index Unit, the US Equity Index Fund, S&P 500, the Emerging Markets Fund, and the Japan Stock Index. You'll also see it shows the weighting of each index too on the right hand side. And at the top of the screen, it says accumulation and income. And you can just pick which one suits you for that particular fund. Accumulation means you can reinvest the dividends and allow your gains to compound. Or you can just take as income and take the profits as they come through. But in most cases, it's best just to take the profits 
profits and reinvest it. So picking the accumulation is better in that sense, as you allow for compounding to occur and to grow the investments. If you want to read more about the other allocations, you can check the website and it'll give you a much more comprehensive breakdown of what's included in the fund. What makes this so attractive is low fees that come with investing on Vanguard in general. It has an ongoing charge fund of 0.22%, as well as the charge to use Vanguard itself, which is around about 0.15% a year. These numbers can change, but it's extremely cheap compared to most providers. So in summary, the biggest reason the fund is so good is that it reduces stress and takes out a lot of the thinking and complication when it comes to investing. Ideally, you want to keep things simple. The Vanguard Life Strategy Fund really does simplify things for you. Now, this was just a very basic introduction to the fund. If you'd like to learn more, you may want to check out my other video over here about the Life Strategy Fund and mistakes to avoid when investing in this fund.